since 2020. A decade is gone and we're starting a new one. So, what does that mean? What am I setting up for myself? What are my goals, my hopes, my dreams, etc, etc, etc. Um, for this year in 2020, I want to focus on having fun with the channel. So, that means making more content that's more fun for me, then I'm gonna make it. I not wanna post as often, then I won't post as often. I've been having a lot of fun filming. Okay. I've been having a lot of fun filming different videos, but I noticed that I go through waves. So I am, you know, really into the filming, really into filming, and then I don't want to do it. You know, my channel's dead and depressed, blah blah blah. Then I shoot back up again, and it's this roller coaster. But I think I just want to film what I love to film. Because I think before, for so long, I was trying to be someone I wasn't. Not saying like, I would really play my voice or my personality or anything like that. It was more of what I was posting game-wise is not always what I wanted. For example, I'm not good at doing like series and things like that. But it sucked for me because I was like, I need to play these games so I can be like Blank. So I can be like Mark. So I can be like Jack. So I can be like all these people I look up to. But in the reality, I'm not them. I'm not a established YouTuber. I'm <laughs> a 19 year old girl who films videos for the past five years now for the shits and giggles who just wants to document parts of her life because she's terrified that she's not going to remember anything in the future so that's why she does her vlogs and she enjoys playing games especially on the computer so she films them so I want to film more things I want to do more behind the scenes of my photo shoot days or show you how I edit photos or everything in between. In 2020, I want to continue my workout journey, continue to just keep doing that and have fun with it. Uh, for Christmas, I got this game called Ring Fit, I think it's just called Ring Fit, which is like a workout game. It's super duper fun, so I want to keep using that. So I want to continue to work out and just continue to be healthier and stronger. Just want to try my best. <laughs> in 2020, I also want to focus on university. Really put in like 100% of my effort into the work I do. Put work, put so much effort into just every little bit of detail. If I need to, I'll go five days a week. Just really focusing on my uni. Because last year was such an up and down year, I felt like I was having a lot of fun, I was getting used to it all. Trimester 2 I completely crashed and burned and just lost it all. And then I started picking it all back up again and just finished it off on a positive note. So I'm hoping next year, well, yeah, sorry, this year, 2020, I want to really focus on it. In 2020, I also want to get my P's. I've had my last, I've had my L's now for about three years. I'm on the final stretch of getting my P's. I just want to get them done. And I think I might do a different video later, kind of discussing my progress or my journey around driving as a whole, because that's a story in itself. So I might do that. But in 2020, I want to open up a lot more about just different life experiences I've had and just be a lot more genuine and honest. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm a pretty honest person, but throughout all of last year, I started opening up a lot more when it came to friends, about my depression and anxiety, to just everything and anything when I was struggling, to 
anything and I have, you know, like my body image issues to, like I said, um, that dyslexia and anxiety and my memory problems and my dyslexia and just everything else you want to throw under, my, under the bus. Anything I had issues with, I started to tell people about and you know, they were all positive in their response, which obviously means a lot. So I want to continue to be more open and be more honest. But in 2020, this is my final year of being a teenager. I will be turning 20 this year. I'm going to be turning 20. That's kind of scary. I've lived two decades now of my life. And I'm pretty happy with what I've done so far. I'm pretty happy with it so far. But, still have so much more to go. So, I really want to continue focusing on just making sure that my uni stuff is good. I'm still with my boyfriend, Jared. So, I put an agreement with him that we support each other and be deathly honest with each other as much as possible even if we don't want to hear it try and go on a little bit more dates here and there or do something a little spontaneous or you know random things like that just because like for the past couple of months it's been really difficult for us for just personal reasons alone so i want to try and kick it back up a notch and just you know bring it back up and with all my like relationships like friendship wise I really want to just help them be them confident true self as much as possible so I'm going to continue to do that and I'm going to continue to strive to help them in any way shape or form so we'll see how that goes in 2020 I would like if possible somewhere along the line I'm going to keep saying it but I'd really like to get a second job. Whether it's just anything, it'd be good. I don't know. There's a lot to figure out and sort out, but let's see. In 2020, I want to continue to step out of my comfort zones. Last year, I conquered two of my biggest, well, two of Two of my biggest fears that scared me to a point of like repetitive panic attacks and just full on crying fits and I conquered those fears. Some of them took me a long time to do, some of them took me therapy and support systems and meditation apps and baby steps but I did it. In 2020 I want to be a grade 5 if not a superintendent of a divisional or of a division in St. John. So grade 5 is pretty much like the assistant of a superintendent. The superintendent is like the head person of the subdivision. Ever since I joined St. John I always wanted to be a divisional superintendent because when I used to go to St. John well, when I was a kid and I used to go to St. John, that was my home away from home. That was my little happy time. My little me time. So I wanted to provide that for other kids as well. But in 2020, I also would like to just do more stuff. Like volunteer at soup kitchens. Um, just do stuff like that. Or take Trigger to the beach. I really want to take her to the beach. She hasn't been to the beach yet. And she's almost two years old. She's almost two years old. <laughs> Um, things like that you know I'd love to go to a club one night just to see what it's like I would just want to get dolled up I want to get dressed up real fancy even if it's just for dinner or you know put on like my nice suit and maybe some makeup or whatever and just have fun I want to have more sleepovers with my friends or at least catch up with them a lot more whether it's my primary school friends my sisters 
to my girls at uni, to my St. John friends that I don't see that often, and to anyone in between who I forgot, my high school uh, redheads. <laughs> I want to do more. I don't know, I'm saying all of these things and I probably won't do like 90% of them, but I really want to try. I just really want to try and continue to push myself to do things that scare me. To continue to get confidence in myself. To continue to just work hard and just have fun along the way. What do you guys want to do in this year? In this new decade? Let me know. Because I'm curious what you know people wanting to do or think about and let me know any video suggestions you want me to do um but yeah that's about it catch you later <laughs>